This very step where, where we're standing is where one of the most important persons in history for the future of nonviolence stood to say, I have a dream. To introduce a very special guest, his name is Lester Kurtz and is professor of sociology at the George Mason University. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you and welcome uh, to Washington. The five score and three years ago, Mahatma Gandhi started a march that we joined today. It was a march for freedom from violence, dedicated to the proposition that all humans are created equal, that we can settle our differences without violence. Turn your backs on greed and unlimited acquisition. Turn around and march with us toward a world filled with justice and nonviolence. One of those marchers who was here from the very beginning in New Zealand and will be following the march for its 93 days is Isabel Bourgeois. She is from Switzerland. Um, thank you very much, Nicole, and all the organizers of this uh, World March for Peace and Nonviolence in America. We are really, really touched by all your efforts. And uh, I'm especially moved to be here today in Washington. It's a very special, special to me because uh, I'm born in Washington, actually. Thank you very much. Yeah. His name is Josh Stiver. He was an infantryman for 14 months. He's been traveling the country, uh, walking, biking tour of the US and re recently returned after six months talking to people all across the country about his personal experience in the promotion of nonviolence as the way out. Thank you, Josh. Yay. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess it's with mixed emotions that I speak today after hearing the announcement and all the talk that led up to it about the surge in Afghanistan, being part of the surge in Iraq myself. I wish that you know, more lessons would have been learned. And I think now is a opportunity for us to potentially really? strive for peace and not try to take shortcuts through violence. And, and in the process, violence duplicates more violence. And um, I actually have a message from um, a friend of mine who lives in and is from Afghanistan and um, does peace organizing there. And he put out a statement through his project called Our Journey to Smile, and, and you can Google that. And he said more troops increase hate and make us less secure. And he also said that terror cannot cut the roots of terror and blood cannot wash away blood. Thank you. Thank you for those beautiful words. Thank you, Nicole. It's really extraordinary to be in this place where that message which has inspired the world <coughs> emanated from, right? Just here, I have a dream. On this spot, 46 years ago, Martin Luther King spoke about a dream, a dream of a new world, a world of justice, a world of freedom, a world of brotherhood, a world that has finally overcome discrimination and its close companion, violence. And to make our contribution to building the new world, a world with liberty and justice for all. has been the leader or the spokesperson of the World March for Peace and Nonviolence. It was his brainchild, his idea, and he's got all the rest of us moving around the planet to make that happen. So let me give you Rafael de la Rubia. Martin Luther King hizo un gran aporte a los Estados Unidos y a la humanidad. Martin Luther King made a great contribution to the United States and to humanity. Sus actos trascendieron más allá de su muerte. His acts transcended even further than his death. Eso ocurre con las acciones válidas. This happens with valid actions. Las acciones con sentido trascienden y se perpetúan en el tiempo. Actions with meaning transcend and go perpetuating throughout time. 
Todos recuerdan, aquí está escrito, I have a dream. Everyone remembers the speech, I have a dream. Pero creo que aquello fue algo más que un sueño. But I know that that was something more than a dream. No fue solo un sueño lo que a Martin Luther King le movilizó. It was not only a dream that which Martin Luther King mobilized. Fue un sueño que conectaba con una gran aspiración a superar la gran discriminación que había. It was a dream that connected with a great aspiration of overcoming a great discrimination. Martin Luther King está caminando también en esta marcha. Martin Luther King is also walking in this march. Él y todos los que vienen trabajando en la historia. He and all those that go working throughout history. Nos sentimos muy acompañados con sus acciones. We feel ourselves accompanied by his actions. Esta marcha mundial es una continuación de todas aquellas intenciones. This world march is a continuation of those intentions. Esta marcha mundial pretende aunar los esfuerzos de los que hoy están trabajando. This march intends to amplify the, the forces of those that today are working to open the future. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, we are going to wrap this up with one more very um, important, significant speaker who is with us today, Tomás Hirsch. As the spokesperson of new humanism in Latin America, standing here at the same place where Martin Luther King had that great dream, I declare that we all are fully inspired by his dream. His dream is a lighthouse that guides us towards a better future for all humankind. I commit myself, as everyone here, to dedicate our life to build a better world, a world that is already present in our dreams. Thank you. Bueno. Okay, I think this is a very uh, inspirational moment and I don't think we ought to miss the opportunity of taking a minute of silence First of all, I would like to welcome all of the marchers to D.C. Oh, gee, in my heart, I do believe we shall the District of Columbia. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the participants of the World March for Peace to our nation's capital. The march is a 99,000 mile journey around the world that consists of 350 cities and more than 100 countries to become involved in awakening a new consciousness of nonviolence. We are honored that you have chosen the Lincoln Memorial where the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave one of his most powerful and inspiring speeches on nonviolence. On behalf of the residents of the District of Columbia, you have my best wishes for a memorable event. Adrian M. Fenty, Mayor, District of Columbia. Yes. Woo! Hey.